channel Smith's from Immigration. The question is that can my employer terminate my employment contract without um, uh, observing what we call the notice period? Yes, if the employer, if the employer or your sponsor terminates your contract without observing what you call the notice period, he or she must pay a compensation that is equivalent to what you call the notice period of the remaining period of that contract. And remember, that equivalent payment that is supposed to give it to you is supposed to be an equivalent of what you call your basic wage in one way or the other. For example, let us try to look at this example in one way or the other. Let's say, for example, this is an employer that is terminating your contract, is terminating your contract, asking you to stop working after two weeks. What do you have to do? What is it? What is it by the law that is supposed to pay to you? Remember, we are looking at a situation whereby your basic salary is one thousand, and your basic salary is one thousand. Remember the notice period. Let's say, for example, you've worked with that company for two years, and your notice period is supposed to give. On the notice period is supposed to give you that is around two months, or You've worked with that company for one year and the notice period is supposed to be one month. So let's say, for example, this one is terminating your contract before the end of the two years. Two weeks to the end. So that means he has to pay a compensation of those two remaining weeks to terminate you. If he has been paying you 1000 it means that this employer has to pay what you call seven, 750 Qatarial. That is an equivalent to what you call half what you call uh, three quarters of what you call your basic wage. That is against the law. That is according to what you call the law. But you find some employers get to undermine the law. They don't get to to get to follow the law. But remember, some of these things. Let me try to tell you. Some of these things. Most of most of the employer may pretend not to know the law. But when they realize that you know what is pertaining with the law, then it's going to be something that's going to scare them on one way or the other. So some of the times we need to stand up as ourselves. We need to stand up and we let them know what is available. Remember, someone is terminating you, but he has not even given you what you call a termination paper or a termination letter. Why do you accept that termination? Ask him where is my termination Later, remember I told you every single evidence that you have. A termination letter will be a, an evidence, will either bail you out or will either put you down. If you have it, you have a reason to fight for yourself. You have to get that contract. If you cannot access your work contract from your employer, get to the website, get online, check if your contract is there. Know what is stipulated in your contract. Know what is in your contract. You have the right. You have it the right. You have the right to fight for yourself. That is what happens. If most of these employers know that the person I'm dealing with, he knows part of what he's doing, they're going to get scared. Trust me. To some people it has worked if you stand up by yourself. And to some people it has not worked because they feel inferior in one way. They just have to accept whatever it is there in one way or the other. Remember, it is for your good. When a ban is put in your passport, it will be for you. But if you fight for yourself and you fight for the right that you have, no ban will be put in your passport. And that's what you have to let you know. So no terminator, no, no termination should be carried out by an employer minus paying what you call your notice period, which is equivalent to what you call the basic wage. Thank you so much. See you again in the next video. Remember to subscribe, follow, like, and share.